adult basic skills program. It used to be called GED. Now it's called high school completion. At this time, I'd like to introduce the graduates yeah. for 2015-2016 here at Camden County College. It is a combined graduation of the Adult Basic Skills Consortium and the One Stop Resource Center. So would you please stand with me and welcome the graduates. Some remarks. 
You heard my name, it's Jeff Swartz. I'm the Executive Director of the County's Workforce Investment Board. We're the agency that is responsible for the management and the oversight of the county's one-stop system. We provide training and referrals to county residents to help them get back to work. Um, what's the matter? The measure of our success is the number of people that we successfully place in jobs. While we work closely with many partnering agencies, Camden County, oh my goodness, right? <laughs> like my talk. While we work very closely with many partnering agencies, Camden County College is our largest partner in providing both training and workplace literacy skills that positively impact so many of you. I know that this last cohort of training has been very challenging in the midst of upgrading the process and implementing new standards and procedures. I know firsthand the teachers, I've talked to many of them, have dealt with this. With the college facing the pending transition, some students were asked to move quickly to finish under the current standards, while others had to move into the new standards. I, at this time, I would like to thank the teachers for their dedication and their service to the adult learners and ask that they stand for a round of applause. But tonight we're here to celebrate you, the students, your achievements, in completing this journey of earning your diploma. This is an accomplishment that will open doors that were once closed. How many times have you read a job description that listed a high school diploma is needed? Well now that you have this, you'll have the confidence of, about, of applying for that job. Regardless of the amount of time that you have taken to receive this accomplishment, today is a new beginning. You have the rest of your lives to go out and conquer the world with this new and fresh and valuable education. You have much to be proud of. And I know that life, with its many unexpected twists and turns, can sometimes get in the way, get in the way, get in the way of getting us to the next step. But through hard work and dedication and determination, you have arrived at a place where you now have the confidence and the know-how to continue your education. Learning is a lifelong process, and I encourage you to keep going. Live your dream and set the example for the next generation. Congratulations and enjoy your evening. Thank you, Jeff, and I couldn't agree with you more about how important the teachers and staff and everybody is in this whole entire process. They are awesome. <laughs> right? <laughs> On behalf of Camden County, we have with us this evening one of the County Freeholders, Carmen Rodriguez, and I'm going to ask Christine Pankos if she would please introduce the Freeholder to all of you. Good evening. Freeholder Carmen Rodriguez is an American success story. Born in Puerto Rico, she came to America with her parents when she was four. Her family lived in Philadelphia before moving to Canada. Education was her parents' dream for her, and Carmen made that a reality. After graduating from Woodrow Wilson High School with honors, she earned a Bachelor's of Science degree in bio Biological Science with a minor in Spanish from Rutgers University. She went on to earn two Master's degrees. 
degrees, a Master's of Education degree in teaching English as a second language from the College of New Jersey, and a Master of Chemistry Education from the University of Pennsylvania. As she earned her advanced degrees, Carmen taught science in both Camden City and Audubon School District. She has teaching certificates in physical science, biological science, bilingual science, and K-8 education. As an educator and the mother of four children, Freeholder Rodriguez knows the value of strong families and the power that education brings to young people. Her concern, kindness, and compassion have reached out to touch many lives throughout the county. She is liaison to the Board of Social Services helping those in need. Freeholder Rodriguez has been honored with the Good Neighbor Award by the Camden County Branch of the American Red Cross the Legislator of the Year Award from the National Association of Women Business Owners, and was named one of Delaware Valley's most influential Latinos in 2014. Please help me welcome Freeholder Carmen Rodriguez. Good evening, everyone. And congratulations, Class of 2015. Educator, I know how hard students must work to attain high school diplomas. I also know that for some, the challenges that life has set in their path make achieving this award an unattainable goal. In my years, I have met many bright, and talented individuals who, for many different reasons, could just who just could not get there. As a freeholder, I also know the perils that many encounter in their efforts to attain gainful employment so that they are able to live productive and comfortable lives without having attained this goal. Often, the only opportunities available to those individuals require long hours of difficult and often painful labor with wages that are woefully inadequate. Life is hard. Life is especially hard for those who have encountered these challenges. But here we are today, celebrating another cohort of students who did something to change that. Many of you faced incredible challenges from health issues to homelessness to childcare to problems involving the justice system. However, through it all, you persevered. As I look upon you, I see determination and commitment. Two elements that are critical for success anywhere that you go. You exemplify these traits, which means not only are you successful, but you, that you will continue to be successful. So today I want to encourage you to stay unwavering in your perseverance and in your commitment to personal success. Only you can achieve it. And it is in you. We all have challenges, myself included, more than many of you can imagine. And honestly, I don't like to delve into my own personal situation because I know that there are others who have faced more. But I too, a city girl, raised, born and raised, went to one of the most behind schools in the entire state of New Jersey. I know what it is to be challenged by the environment. I know that what it is to grow up in poverty. But I also know what it is to stay committed and to persevere. I am a mother. I know what it is to continue to educate myself, to study, to work a full-time job, to go home and to study and to raise a family at the same time. I know what it is. It's a challenge. And I know many of those challenges that you all faced. Many of you faced those challenges. Many of you faced more. And I commend you because you stuck with it. However, one thing that I have learned is that if we face those challenges head on and turn them into learning opportunities, we grow and we are better for it. But we must remain committed. Change is not easy. This award that you're receiving today is only the beginning. 
For many of you, 81 of you who passed the task test, you will find that doors which were closed to you before will now be open. It does not mean that life will be simple or completely rosy. It just means that you have more opportunities. Take advantage of those opportunities. Whether it is to get a job where you can provide for your family, climb up a career ladder within a successful company, or to continue studying. You can do that also. So that you can break through more of those barriers that confront you. Each one of you has the opportunity to select your path and be successful. Graduates, this is the beginning. This is only the beginning. The commencement of a new future. That's why it's called a commencement ceremony. It's the commencement of a new future. Commit to your goals and you will persevere. You've already proven that you can. Congratulations. Thank you, Freeholder Rodriguez. It's really a pleasure to have you with us. This is your first graduation with us, and we hope it will be you will be with us for many more. And thank you for those words of encouragement. Uh, I can believe we can say that yes, for a lot of us, a lot of you, this has been a challenging road and not one easily taken. But you have done it. And we are so proud of you. I do want to uh, thank you, Miss Gloria. I appreciate it because we do want people sitting as much as possible because of the fire code regulations. So there are some extra seats in and around the auditorium. Thank you. <coughs> it has been my pleasure for the past seven years to know. Dr. Raymond Yanuzzi. It is because of him that Camden County College restarted its Adult Basic Skills GED program. And to introduce Dr. Yanuzzi, I'm going to ask. extremely grateful. 
Please help me welcome Dr. Yunusi. I'm not happy that the tornado passed through here last uh, couple of weeks ago, but I am happy that I'll be able to be with you here tonight because I was out of town that night and uh, I was sorry that I was going to miss this event. This is always one of the best events of the spring. We have many graduations over the last six weeks, uh, but this one is always one that I enjoy coming to because it's so meaningful for the people who are here and for their families. So I want to welcome you here tonight and congratulate you and say a few words first about the certificate you're going to get, GED they call it, now they have a different name, but uh, I've heard some comments about the GED recently that you should hear. I'm on a commission that the governor has to look at testing in schools in New Jersey, and on this commission we have teachers and superintendents and principals and people from colleges, and, and one woman from the New Jersey Chamber of Commerce is her name, Dana Agretzky, and she has said several times and the Department of Ed doesn't always like it, but she says it. She says, you know, my members, my employers in New Jersey Chamber of Commerce, which is pretty much every company in New Jersey, they say they'd rather hire a student with a GED than a student with a diploma from any of the high schools in New Jersey because with a person who has a GED, they know what they've learned. They can tell that they passed a rigorous test. They know that it was a national standard, which is what they're trying to do now with this park and common core, and they can trust that person as somebody who can perform and somebody who can do the job. So she said, my people would rather hire GED students than many high school graduates in New Jersey. So you should be proud of that and comes in with what Jeff was talking about, about employment. But as a further discussion of some of the things that, that you're facing here tonight and that, that you're going to be celebrating later, I want to say some of the similar things that Harmon and Jeff mentioned, but do it in the context of the story. This is a story some of you may have heard. Uh, it's in the Bible. It's about a woman who had 10 coins. Did you hear that story? A woman who had 10 coins, and this, this was her fortune. This was going to get her through life. And then one day she found she lost one. She only had nine. And she said, I'm going to find that one coin that I lost. And she looked under the table, and she looked all around the steps and every place in the house. When it got dark, she got a, a, a lamp and went around and looked underneath. And finally, she got that coin. And when she found it, she was so happy, she brought in her friends and neighbors and had a big celebration uh, at the end, because she said, I lost something, and now I have found it. And it's back, and I have it again. Now, you're going to have a celebration a little while outside tonight, if you get your diploma. And this story is really about you, in a lot of ways. Because it's a metaphor, you learned that in your English class, it's a metaphor, a comparison of one thing to another, right? And in some ways, you all are like that coin that got lost, right? You're somebody who, to Camden County College, to your families, is just as valuable and precious as that woman held that, that lost coin. And you have people like Carol and Mike and your teachers who went around looking for you under the table, calling you in, making sure you came to class, making sure you did your assignments, following up, until they got you to the point where you are here tonight. And we're going to celebrate with you and your families that you made this accomplishment. But in another way, because metaphors can work more than one level, as you probably learned. You're the person who lost the coin, and the coin was the thing that you're going to get back here tonight. That is your diploma, your certificate, the, signature, the sign that you have achieved something academically that the world will recognize. And you're going to be happy to get it because it's something that you lost, and now you're found. You were blind, and now you see. You know that song? Right? Um, but. It wasn't just Amazing Grace, it was Amazing Carol and Mike and all the teachers here that, that helped get you to the stage. So you should thank them and we thank you for your achievement and we're very grateful to have you as graduates of the Campbell County College Program. Congratulations. That's a story I had not heard about the lost coin. Uh, I think that we could see even a lot more uh, parallels to what goes on uh, in our programs, with our lives, and yes, how much things have been found, and how much, in many ways, folks have grown from this whole experience. Lots of times people will say, getting their high school diploma for all of you 
passing the TAS test and getting your New Jersey High School diploma is the hardest step. It's the first step and the hardest step. After that, going on into the world of work, going on into perhaps the college, that you've already laid the groundwork for and moving on is much easier once you've gotten over getting this getting over this hurdle and getting that high school diploma. So we are so thrilled for all of you. I'm going to ask you to do something for me though. We all know that for you to be here this evening, this was not done just by yourself alone. You had encouragement, you had support, not only as Jeff has said and Dr. Yanuzi and Carmen have said from your teachers and staff, but also by the loved ones who are here with you today. So I'm going to ask if you would please to stand for a minute. Just stand. Just stand, graduates. And I'd like you to turn around and thank people who are here with you today. Thank you, Leonard and Patty. That is very great for us 
call to hear. Now I'm going to ask if Gordon Palmer will please come forward from the Housing Authority and introduce the key, the graduate speaker for the, representing the Housing Authority.
in class and we talk. And some of those conversations were, well, <laughs> they were encouraging. And they helped also to encourage me personally to keep my eye on the fire. Uh, Miss Danielle also took us on a field trip. And guess what it was? It was right outside the school. She made me realize, she made me realize that you don't have to go on long trips to, to, to see what science is about. We went to a tree and if you just watch uh, nature and see how things grow, and you can learn a lot from it. So it was all geared toward this day, attaining my DVD. Thank you for listening.
I would like to say congratulations to the fellow graduates, and I want to encourage the present students to stay focused and keep trying their best towards their goals. It is possible. Camden County College has a great program. Thank you again to everyone present and enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you, Neil. Um, it doesn't seem like just yesterday you started, and here you are as a graduate in 2015. So thank you for sharing. Our final graduate speaker is going to be introduced by another math instructor with Camden County College, Shawnee Petty Ford, who is the evening and Camden coordinator. Shawnee. actually a student in my class in the beginning and I had no idea she was there but quickly after that she made herself a permanent fixture in my class even if my class wasn't on her schedule Miss <laughs> um, Carol said I teach math and I'm, I'm sure for most of you math was a hard subject and you could say I hate it that's exactly how loose was but she was ready she wanted to leave she wanted to get a job she knew she had a lot to do. So again, even though my class wasn't on her schedule, she was in there. Every time I turn around, I look, she's peeking her head in. Oh, I need this, can I sit here? Sure, no problem. <laughs> um, and if it wasn't in my classroom, it was in the office working as a C-Web. She's always helpful, always willing to do whatever she had to do. Um, we love her and we're so proud of her. Please help me in welcoming Luz. It was heartbreaking to see how I made no moves to become a better me. That's when I heard <laughs> that's when I heard about the ABS. I did have a dream, like most of us. My dream was to become an EMT. When I first started with the program, I had people making fun of me. I'm a 26 year old, and many people said I wasn't going to go anywhere. I wasn't going to get my diploma and I was going to be nothing. That discouraged me. But I registered and started the ABS program despite the negativity. Again, I say it was the best choice I ever made. When I, became, when I came into the CREP program, I had never done clerical work before. I learned how to answer phones, read students, and most of all, I love wearing registrations. It allowed me to see all the two pockets before anybody else. <laughs> also, the CREP program allowed me to meet and work with some great students and instructors. Lifelong friendships have made me, have been made like Lucy, Johanna, Lucy. Megan, and oh, let me not forget the ABS fashionista, Latara Thomas, <laughs> and our diva, Melanie Alcaraz. A few of the instructors that impact my life are first, Ms. Boss Lee, Shawnee, yeah. even though she doesn't remember me in her class. <laughs> her and Mr. Mike are the reasons I was able to pass the math part of my test. Gloria, Loida, and Camilla. All these ladies were awesome. They made me improve my reading and writing through academic support, which I hated at the beginning. 
Last but not least, in the CY program, I spent a lot of time with Miss Carol. Miss <laughs> Carol, it was a privilege surviving your bear moves. It was an honor so serving you your poison every day. Everybody is going to get nervous, but Miss Carol calls her diet practicing her poison. As a CY, it was our responsibility to get to her. One more thing. Whenever you go on a trip with Miss Carol, please take an umbrella. <laughs> So my CY job coach was saying, thank you for supporting me in and out of the program. You're like my mother figure. Every time I got ready to give up or quit, you were always there many times. You made me keep going. Even though I called all hours of the day and night, you were available. You, believe, you believed in me, and that made me believe in myself. Last but not least, Ms. Ilya. In a short matter of time, you joined the program and became someone special in my life. Since day one, you were helping me move forward and to never look back. You also believe in me, not knowing me much. Thank you for the head of love. She knows exactly what I'm talking about. Thank you for everything you did for me and everyone else. You're the best. There was a class I loved above all. It was customer service. This class does so much for me. I received my National Customer Service Certification, with, which opened many doors for me. First, Boscoff, then Wells Fargo, at this point, I realized I could do anything I put my mind into. So I applied and I was accepted at the Kennedy County College EMT certification program where I have obtained my state
College Administrative Assistant Family Planner. Dr. Claudio Cerullo, Housing Authority of the City of Kansas.
The Camden County Adult Basic Skills Consortium it does consist of six partners. They are the City of Camden, the Hispanic Family Center, the Housing Authority of the City of Camden, Pensacola Public Schools, and also Camden County College. Uh, if you notice in your program, uh, there are two graduates from the Pansalkin program. Unfortunately, they could not be with us this evening, but they are in the program and they will be getting their certificates uh, in the next week or so. Okay. Uh, it is a tradition ever since uh, Dr. Yunuzi started our program again in 2000. 2007-2008, that the entire staff of Camden County College and Dr. Yunuzi and our executive director, or executive dean of the Camden campus, join us in thanking the students who are here and congratulating them. So I'm going to ask the staff to please come forward. Um, I did make. Okay. And,
Adam Taylor.
adult basic skills. Camden County's adult basic skills consortium at Camden County Resource Center. We congratulate the class of 2015.